from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Send Out Cards. Try it now absolutely free at SendOutCards.com. We're getting a better look at that University of California study, and they are now saying a moderate amount of beer or wine and a couple of cups of coffee a day could be your key to living past the age of 90. And to think, I've been wasting my time taking vitamins all these years. While summer often means slamming your hand into an icy cooler and popping the top on a cold can or a bottle, for peak pleasure, consider drinking only bottled beer that has been poured into a glass. The beer experts say much of the taste comes from the aroma, and if you drink from the bottle, you won't be able to take in the aroma as well. For ultimate effect, you can drink the beer through your nose. A man was pulled over recently on a California freeway while riding a horse. When his blood alcohol level was tested, it allegedly registered at twice the legal limit for operating a vehicle. Uh, okay, hold on here. Wait, the man was just a passenger. The horse was the one driving. I've never heard of a horse being called a vehicle. Why not give the horse the roadside sobriety test instead, huh? Let the innocent passenger get on with his life. Bachelor Nation's Claire Crawley is engaged. And it only took four reality shows to find the right guy. Last Friday on The Ellen Show, actor Josh Duhamel told DeGeneres it was hard to see his ex, Fergie, get slammed for her recent national anthem performance at the NBA All-Star Game. Duhamel continued saying, I think she would admit that it's not her best work, but the girl is crazy talented, she really is, she's an amazing woman, an amazing human being, really. Okay, you, you said some good things there, Joshy, but you should have left out the part about it not being her best work. Have you learned nothing about women? In Indonesia, a 36-year-old father is facing a possible jail term after posting a picture of his nine-month-old son, apparently smoking a cigarette. Allegedly, the father put the lit cigarette in his son's mouth while his 18-year-old wife took the picture. When police saw it, they arrested the man, and he could be jailed for six months under Indonesia's Child Protection Act. Apparently, North America doesn't have a monopoly on morons. The Weinstein Company announced that it is filing bankruptcy, and it couldn't have happened to a nicer predator. In Seattle, someone complained about a Confederate flag being flown on a flagpole below a U.S. flag. Turns out that was not a Confederate flag. It was a Norwegian flag. But that's to be expected, because this is America, where if you can't find something to be offended by, you have to make something up. From the New York mob scene, we can report that Bonanno crime family consigliere John Porky Zanocchio has been thrown back behind bars after violating the terms of his parole by visiting an alleged mobbed-up pizzeria. So where else would you expect to find a wise guy nicknamed Porky Zanocchio if not at a mobbed-up pizza parlor? General Mills has bought Blue Buffalo Pet products for $8 billion. Let's hope they don't get those two mixed up. That'd make for some strange flavors in the baby food aisle. The Centers for Disease Control, which houses the world's most deadly viruses, is asking for a new building in Atlanta after only 13 years in the current one. Sounds to me like somebody spilled something and they're way too scared to clean it up. New research suggests too many people are getting extra sedation treatment during their colonoscopy exams costing as much as $1 billion yearly in potentially needless services. Use of anesthesiologists to monitor sedation during colonoscopies and other digestive imaging tests has been doubled in recent years, and they are used more often for low-risk patients who typically don't need the extra help, according to the study authors. These services are not harming patients, says Dr. Soren Matke. They're basically giving them a luxury that is not strictly necessary. Okay, yeah, uh, maybe so, but who wants to be awake while getting a colonoscopy? This past week, Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner was on stage and for some reason thought it would be a great idea to raise a glass of chocolate milk and make a toast to diversity. Well, yeah, I mean, if he had used white milk, that would have been racist. The organization that oversees emojis has changed the lobster emoji after people in Maine complained that it didn't have the correct number of legs. Okay, now that we have that fixed, can we go back to working on a cure for cancer? 
A second Russian athlete tested positive for a banned substance at the Olympic Games. So you can influence the U.S. presidential election, but you can't remember that using banned substances is the exact reason why you weren't allowed to compete under your own flag this year at the Winter Olympics? According to a Swiss study, the chances are good that you can add a few years to your life if you take the stairs instead of the elevator. Doing this over a three-month period will dramatically increase your level of fitness and probably increase your level of body odor. Only 14 percent of U.S. workers believe they have the perfect job and more than half want to change careers. The Harris survey showed that the most coveted jobs are in the arts and sciences, business management, technology, and healthcare. I guess it, I, the, the, the saying is true, I guess. You know, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Unless you truly are in the arts, at which point that grass may be pink or, or plaid or polka dot or, or purple. Former 49ers linebacker Gary Plummer says he suffered 2,500 concussions in his NFL career. When asked if he felt there were any lasting effects, he replied, eggplant. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Send Out Cards. You don't have to leave the house, you don't have to buy stamps, and you still get a physical card in the mail with whatever message you wish to send. Choose from the hundreds of existing cards or create one of your own, complete with your own picture if you wish. Try it now absolutely free by visiting sendoutcards.com slash weird. That's sendoutcards.com slash weird. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos.